Hello everybody, this is a video by special request of Ganesh K, who is a subscriber to Euro channel. He wrote, Doctor, kindly put a video about short frenulum and frenuloplasty. In clinical practice, frenular problems are quite common. The frenulum is that string-like structure where the prepuce fuses with the glands of the penis. In order to understand the possible problems involved, you will need to understand some basic anatomy first. Otherwise, you will not be able to follow along. The frenulum helps to keep the foreskin in place and facilitates it rolling back after retraction. It is one of the most sensitive areas of the body. The foreskin contains between 20 to 70,000 erogenous nerve endings and a lot of them are distributed at the frenulum, which makes it a very important structure when it comes to sexual arousal. Within the frenulum, there runs an artery for the blood supply of the glands of the penis. From birth, the frenulum may be too short, something which is called frenulum breve. This may result in difficulties in retracting the prepuce and, in many men, intercourse is painful because of the permanent traction of a too short frenulum. This makes it very vulnerable to injuries. By the way, not only the short frenula are at risk of traumatic injury, also the normal ones are. Frenular tears occur quite often during sexual activity because of the many nerve endings. This is painful and remains painful for weeks as the area takes some time to heal. Usually, frenular tears are accompanied by bleeding as the frenular artery gets damaged. So, should this happen to you, compress the bleeding using your hand and apply pressure for 10 minutes. The bleeding should have stopped by then. Wait for the area to heal completely. My advice is 4 weeks before you may resume any sexual activity. In my experience, for some men, this area will become a constant nuisance with repeated ruptures and pain. This is because when wound healing occurs, the body is building a scar and scars tend to contract. So the frenulum kind of gets even shorter and then becomes even more prone to rupture. Here is what can be done about it. Steroid ointments and creams make the skin more elastic. It is possible to give it a try. Put steroid cream onto the short frenulum or the scar and gently retract and stretch the area over a course of a few weeks. Frankly, it is described in the literature, but I've never seen it work. Most of the time, a surgical lengthening procedure will have to be performed by the name of frenuloplasty. There was a time when complete circumcision was standard of care in these cases, but this can be regarded as outdated. Because of the many erogenous nerve endings within a structure of the foreskin that is called the rigid band, I have become very cautious in recommending circumcision if it can be avoided. There are several ways to carry out frenuloplasty. The most common approach is to cut the frenulum horizontally and stitch it longitudinally. By doing this, a nice elongation is achieved. There are also other possibilities with plastic corrections involving a Z or Y-shaped incision and there is also a suture-free method called pull and burn. It sounds easy, it is easy, but nevertheless it is an operation with possibilities of complications. In my opinion, whatever approach chosen, care should be taken to preserve the frenula artery. As I said, it is responsible for the blood supply of the glands. There is an elevated risk for scarring of the urethral opening if the blood supply is interrupted. In other words, problems with urinary flow might be the consequence. And you don't want that kind of problem. Another point is nerve function. The intraoperative use of cauterization to seal off any bleeding should be handled very restrictive because it damages nerves. After the operation, you should abstain from sexual activity for four weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.